Dave here at Russo's RV in Lakeville, Mass. Today we're going to look at the 2024 2513S Rockwood Mini Light. This is an awesome couples coach, one of the 20, 25 foot Rockwoods, and it checks off a lot of the boxes. We're going to go over all the things that this unit has. So, one of the first things that you'll see is a massive storage area. This is a huge pass through storage. You see this on some of the other minis like the 2205S, but um, just a huge open usable storage space. For 2024, this is what the front graphics are gonna look like. Still got the automotive grade, grade windshield, the 230 pound bottles and the power front jack and the LED light strip. So you can come out at night if you have to do anything. If the, Check your propane bottles, your battery, or anything outside. Even if you're hooking up at night, nice to have that LED light strip. You got the storage from the other side. And right inside, there's a table. The other table is actually inside. We'll go over that shortly. On this model, you get two slide outs. You get a wardrobe slide in the bedroom. So you get like shelving, like a almost like a pantry shelf, and then wardrobe for clothes and the large slide has the fridge and the theater seats on it. I like that the there's no sewer outlet under the slide room. You don't have to crawl under anything to get to the sewer. Easy access to that. Second storage is a tall storage compartment. It goes way up in there. That's actually behind the fridge, I believe. And your hookups are back here. So you have a 30 amp outlet, or it's not outlet, 30 amp plug that you hook up right there. And then you got your city water, cable, satellite plugs, easy access to the sewer. Gray on the left, black on the right. Love that. All minis have the ladder standard. That ladder's rated for 250 pounds. That is a walkable roof. You have to get up there, check your seals, clean it. Recommend cleaning it at least once a year. Give it a good wash. On the 2024s, instead of an outside shower, we have this spray port and it's going to come with a hose. Hose hooks up right there. Just like in the 23s, they've kept this receiver hitch for 300 pounds, um, like a bike carrier or storage rack and go right there. The griddle on this model mounts on this swiveling metal bracket. And you got the cooktop as part of the outside kitchen. So you can stand between the griddle in the back and the cooktop there. If you're gonna boil water and cook some bacon and eggs. Outside fridge. A little bit of storage above the sink. And yes, there is a sink and the sink actually goes into the gray water tank. It doesn't just flow out or get captured in a little container there. It actually is connected to the water system and it drains into the gray tank. Goodyear Endurance Tires. That bracket is gonna be for the table that mounts outside. And if you want, you can actually put a TV outside. There's a mount for that there as well. The awning has an LED light strip on it, and it comes out about eight feet from the camper. We ordered this unit with the power stabilizers. You can also get them with the manual ones if you'd like. But power, easy, just press a button right there one button for the front two and one button for the back two rockwood minis have an enclosed underbelly which which helps with towing you have less sway there could be air pockets developing under there it's also good for insulation all right let's head inside so in this particular model you can see that this is going to be the theater seating layout this is the larger of the two theater seat layouts it actually has the middle console with the phone charger built into it. Just put your phone on there and a little storage in the middle. Comes with two side tables. Those side tables swivel. You can either, you can take them out if you want. You just remove them entirely. There's just these clips here. You just open up the clip, unlock it, slide the whole thing out if you want. And they can store in the camper or in that front storage compartment. Another box this unit checks is counter space. How many times have you walked into a, a camper and you go, it's nice, but 
there's no room on the counter. There's no counter space. There's no usable space. Not only do you have that, that nice space there and a large sink, not a two-sided sink, but one large sink, you have a countertop extension as well. So I love this space on the side of the oven, on the right side of the oven. Really good usable space on the corner of the sink and that countertop extension. So awesome kitchen for a mid kitchen. Another item that a lot of customers ask about is fireplace, electric fireplace. It's good for supplemental heat, makes some nice ambiance in the camper. It does work. <laughs> I get that question a lot. Does it actually throw heat? Yes, it does. It can certainly take the chill out of the air in a fall or an early spring day. Another thing, you walk into a camper, you like it, you get into the bathroom, you can barely move around. That is not the case here. This unit has an awesome large shower. Plenty of room to walk around in there. Plenty of floor space in the bathroom to move around. And you even get additional storage in there above the outside kitchen. We'll check that out in a second. But this is a really spacious bathroom. This is one of the larger bathrooms in a Rockwood Mini Light and really any camper this size. Another common desire, want a separate bedroom. So in this Mini Light, you do get the separate bedroom. You get the solid sliding doors that separate the bedroom from the rest of the camper. So if someone wants to go to bed earlier than everybody else, you can go to bed earlier and close it off, have a little bit of privacy. A lot of the minis are just open floor plans, but this is one of the uh, few that actually has a separate bedroom. So right across from the theater seat is the strategically placed television. This is a smart TV, 32 inch, that comes in all of the 2024 Rockwood minis. I like this, this is a good distance, not too far away, 32 inch. I mean, I know we're used to like 77 inches these days, or 80, but uh, this is certainly a very, um, very good size for the distance. And I know it doesn't show up in the video as well. When I'm sitting here in person, if you actually sit here in person, you're gonna see this TV and it actually looks a lot closer um, versus the video. This is also a 12 volt television, so you can run it uh, just off battery power. And this unit does come with a 200 watt solar panel. You have the option for a second 200 watt as well. I love these monitor panels because it comes with an app and you can set it up on your phone so you can control your lights, your awning, your slide rooms, all that from your phone. You can also um, look at all the really good videos, uh, frequently asked questions about um, maintaining the unit, winterization, stuff like that. Really good information through the app. It's the same size uh, fridge as in the 2023 models, 11 cubic feet, but it's got a black glass front instead of the stainless steel front. This is the standard 12 volt fridge. You can still get the option if you'd like for the eight cubic foot gas electric fridge, but probably gonna have to special order that. I'm guessing most dealers are probably gonna put the 12 volt standard fridge on their lot. It's less money and they're becoming more and more popular these days. We already saw the outside pass-through storage, so this unit has a ton of storage outside, but it also has a lot inside. This above the fireplace, these aren't really deep. They're probably eight to 10 inches deep, but tons of shelving space. The wardrobe itself, the slide, has this deep shelves, three tiers. And then the wardrobe itself, so you can hang a lot of clothes there. Above the bed, there's some extra storage. On the side of the bed there, that's another place you can hang clothes. The bed itself lifts up. Yeah, so under the bed, a little bit extra. Above the theater seats, there's some storage there. And then even behind, there's a little bit, not a whole lot there, but there's some. Next to the fridge, you got a few more cabinets. One, two, three, four shelves. This is just access, I think, to the, yeah, it's like the fresh water pump, I believe. Two big drawers next to the oven. See the tire pressure monitor there. And the touch-up kit, big fan of the touch-up kit for the camper. Three more smaller drawers. And then above the kitchen counter, that's another very, usable space for storage. And if you're still not satisfied, there's 
even more in the bathroom. And look at this, this is massive. Right above the outside kitchen, access from the bathroom, you got the shelf up top, and then even more space beneath it, additional next to it, medicine cabinet, and under the sink, even next to the sink, there's that space there. There's so much storage in this unit. This is some of the most interior and exterior storage of a 25 foot unit I've seen. With the slide room in, you definitely cannot get to the bathroom. You can get to the fridge, uh, but you cannot get to that bathroom. You can get to the bed for sure. That's just right there. Easy to, to get to the bed, but um, no bathroom. Yes, fridge. Yes to a lot of the storage area, but um, no to the bathroom. So just to recap, this couple's coach comes with tons of storage inside and outside. An outside kitchen, not just an outside kitchen, a large outside kitchen theater seat, fireplace, spacious bathroom. So many things this unit does well. Awesome floor plan. It's been a popular one for a few years now on our lot. It is in stock as of the making of this video. There'll be a link in the description if you want to see some more additional uh, specs or price. You'll find that there. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.